and you'll notice Premiere Pro instantly uh, updates itself and is now working with After Effects. So the point of showing you this, and we do show this a lot in some of our other videos, and more specifically on keying, is that you can in fact mix and match uh, various formats. So in these particular cases, I've got a, uh, a P2 clip coming from a DVC Pro um, from an HVX 200. That's the green screen clip uh, on top of the HPX 300 AVC Entry Clip. So it is a great workflow for studios and facilities that have uh, multiple types of cameras. And again, you could use uh, other types of formats as well. XD Cam, AVC Entra, uh, Red Camera, all of these other native formats and go ahead and bring those in. And obviously recorded formats on tape like uh, HDV, DV, and so forth are all supported as well. You might want to add a title. You really have two ways to do that. You can just go to File, New, Photoshop file and that'll go ahead and launch Photoshop CS4 or you could just go do a quick title with our titling program and just either do a default crawl roll or still and in this case I'll just do a uh, do a still go ahead and type in some quick text here and just drag that title directly on top of your, your clip and you're good to go. For those of you that haven't seen how easy it is to export out of Adobe Premiere Pro and CS4's Production Premium, um, you can go ahead and just go to File, Export, Media, and this will go ahead and launch Adobe's uh, interface for Adobe Media Encoder. And you can do a number of different things. I can go ahead and save this out uh, back as a P2 movie, in this case, uh, DVC Pro HD. And I can go ahead and pick out a format that uh, I can go ahead and have it create a contents folder with all the metadata. Or I can go ahead and pick out other types of formats. And again, if you're using Mac or using Windows, uh, you might have a, a slightly different set of choices uh, in this particular case, I happen to be on a Mac, so I can go ahead and maybe say, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create this as an H.264 and go ahead and pick a preset. Uh, one of the great presets that a lot of people are starting to use is the uh, YouTube widescreen HD. It's a format that uh, I have a lot of people using now because it seems to play friendly both on the web as well as on the desktop. And it's great for Windows users and Mac users alike. So uh, it seems to be a great sort of universal format. Uh, whether you intend to put it on YouTube or not really makes no difference. It's just a great universal format. And at this point, you can just go ahead and click OK. And that will go ahead and also allow you to continue to edit and you'll see it places the uh, clip right there and it will go ahead and load the entire sequence and maybe I want a version that doesn't have the title or in fact doesn't have uh, me in the key at all and I can go ahead and even add um, a few more clips here so if I go down to my uh, ABC Intra um, Annapolis footage here and I want to add uh, a, few, you know, a few more clips maybe even move key down here and adjust that key, I'm gonna have a different type of edit and I'll turn that layer back on. Now when I send this back out, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK because the settings are already there. It went ahead and loaded a second instance. And again, the whole time I don't have to save the project. Uh, I can turn layers on and off. If I had multilingual layers, I could be turning different titles off and on. You can sort of use this uh, as you need to. But you can start the queue at any time to get this processing. It is just a great way to work. And while it's doing its thing in the background, I'm going to go ahead and continue to make uh, some additional edits here and just you know make some different revisions on the timeline uh, the whole time it's continuing to edit so whatever my changes are that I need to do um, at any time I can go right back to Adobe's media encoder and export in this case a third clip and click OK and you'll notice I now have the first one encoding the other two are waiting it's processing it just works great it's a very powerful feature within production premium and Premiere Pro working with any kind of formats. Native AVC intra editing has never been easier.